Happy Mindful Monday, everybody. Hope you had the most incredible weekend and the most incredible week. Um, I will share, I had a phenomenal weekend. I got to spend time with my sister and my nephew. I went to Credo and did um, a master class in Brooklyn. I had a great time, got to meet so many of you. Just, oh my God, what a wonderful weekend. Um, wearing my fantastic shirt from um, H. Hazel, which you guys all know I love their eye patches. Shout out, love my shirt. Um, but today, Mindful Monday, I want to deep dive into something with you, and it's called acknowledging our accomplishments. Something we're really not good at, at least as from, our, from everything I can tell. And certainly, when you guys shout things out on social, it's on to the next thing. And what are you doing to be present to those? So I wanted to talk about that today. Um, when there are big accomplishments, like or big things to celebrate, like weddings and births and etc., we get caught up on it and we're in that moment for a significant period of time. Maybe it's a several hours for a wedding or getting ready for the wedding, etc. But what about the day to day, right? We we check something off our box and we're on to the next thing, and yet we work so hard to check that off the box and we're not celebrating it. And kind of wanted to take a time to deep dive into that with you guys. So big news for us, um, and we announced it on social, and you can tell by my face, I'm so excited. We launched an Ulta. I am so proud of us. And yet we launched on Ulta.com um, today, and we put it on social, and then we we're on to the next thing. What? I mean, think about it, team, if you're watching this, congratulations to us. I am celebrating, I am excited, I am basking in this. You can tell I'm my enthusiasm by obviously my facial expression and just my energy level because I don't want that to just not be acknowledged. That was a huge feat by everybody on our team from you know meeting with the retailer to planning it out, to creating the visuals, to getting the product there, to announcing on social, all those things. Team, amazing job. And yet, so often we do that and then we're on to the next. Okay, what next do we need to do? Let's stop and smell the roses. Guys, this life shouldn't be lived in the future. We should be living it right now. And when it comes to our accomplishments, we don't do it. When something's wrong, we might wallow. We might go, oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? Blah, blah, blah. And we're thinking about it and we're obsessing about it in the present. But when we have that win, when we have that accomplishment, we're not doing the same thing. So that's what I kind of wanted to bring up today. I would love to hear what you have to say about it, if you guys find that too, but what are you doing to acknowledge your accomplishments every day? What are you doing to celebrate? Or are you checking off that amazing to-do list and just saying, okay, now I'm gonna fill up that whole list again? and not patting yourself on the back or your team on the back for the amazing things that you had to do to accomplish that all. If we're not, if we're not doing that, where's the joy in what we're doing? Think about it. If we're just ruminating about the to-dos and what, hap what didn't happen or what we could have done better, we're not experiencing the joy and training our bodies to, to accept the accomplishments and be proud of ourselves for the daily things. Whether they're big, like this incredible launch on Ulta, or they're small, that we checked off five things from a to-do list that has been on there for the last three weeks, but we haven't been able to get to it. And it doesn't have to be just work. It could be, oh my gosh, I finally got to clean my house. Or, yay, I got through all the laundry. Like, feel good about it. That's a task that we, you know, sometimes we don't always want to do. But you did it. You got it done. And be proud of yourself. Celebrate those small wins. Guys, life is to be celebrated. And I want to make sure through this mindful practice, we are celebrating life together. If you're always planning, you're not living in the present. If you're always ruminating, you're thinking about the past. What are we doing to stay mindful and train that muscle to be joyous in the present? So that's my Mindful Monday tip for you guys to do. Love to hear if you find that too, that you're on to the next thing, you're not celebrating your wins, and how are we gonna keep ourselves fully present to those things? Have a fantastic week, and I cannot wait to see you next time on Mindful Monday.